Hello everyone. Welcome to Gardening for Better Health. My name is Henry B. 723 and I wanted to share with you what I am doing today in my garden. Hope this finds all of you well. I am doing well and I'm really excited about doing a harvest today of my rhubarb. My rhubarb has been growing very well. Um, it has its own little separate bed and I wanted to harvest some today um, and that way once I do a harvest it'll stimulate more growth. I'm going to take you with me as I harvest a few rhubarbs today. So let's travel on over to this bed. It's evening here where I am. I'm in zone 6A. And um, we've had a lot of dry weather uh, recently. And so the last three weeks we haven't had any rain, but they're predicting rain for tomorrow and the next few days. So I said, well, I better come on out and harvest some of this rhubarb before the rain starts. So as you can see, this bed is full. There's lots of rhubarb here. And with these rhubarb plants, with these rhubarb plants here, a lot of the leaves have red spots on them. Can you see those red spots there? It's okay, I don't know exactly what that is on these leaves, but because we don't eat the rhubarb leaves anyway, what we eat is the stalks. The leaves themselves are actually poisonous, so you cannot eat the rhubarb leaves. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to harvest the rhubarb and remove the leaves, and the leaves are gonna be thrown away. I don't even compost these leaves. Some people do, but I don't even compost the rhubarb, le rhubarb leaves because I don't need them. I'm only gonna do the stalks. In this planter, I also have some garlic growing. The garlic was planted last fall as a companion plant uh, to keep some of the bugs away. And so in this bed, there's rhubarb and there is garlic. We're going to leave the garlic and just take some of the rhubarb leaves. Once I cut the garlic, the um, rhubarb leaves, it'll give the garlic more light so that it will grow better because it will get, it'll get a lot more sun. So we're going to start with this leaf here. With the rhubarb, I pull it from the, the bottom of the plant. So, this And then I'm gonna cut off this leaf with my pruning shears. And this is what I'm gonna wind up with. Last year, I got so many rhubarbs off this plant. Um, and I canned some, and the other ones I froze, but I got a very good harvest off this plant last year. And I was able to harvest several times, 
uh, for that last year's harvest. So this is a very prolific plant. One thing about rhubarb, it's one of the few perennial plants vegetables can I plant that will come back every year for me there are not a lot of them so in my research I found that more will come back for sometimes 20 30 years you can also divide the rhubarb plant after it gets to be you know a few years old and you see that it's growing well and well established you can divide it and make new plants so rhubarb is very very worth the time to grow we'll move on around here See that? This particular plant is three years old. And I am very pleased with the yield that I've gotten from this plant. And as you can see, Here's some more of the garlic here. And I'm just gonna make my way around. rhubarb plant I won't need to I won't ever need to buy any more as long as nothing unforeseen happens to this plant I should always get a good yield from it yeah these leaves are just awful but as you can see, it's not affecting the rhubarb stalk. So. so when you plan your garden, um, think about which things might come back for you every year. It would be worthwhile thinking if if I get something that comes back every year, then I shouldn't have so much work to do. Because you know, your tomatoes and things like that, they don't. Because they're annuals, every year you have to plan them and it's more work. And sometimes you get to the point in life where the redundant work just does not do it for you anymore. You really just want to be able to harvest and get your reward without having to do the same thing over and over and over again. That's what happened when I planted this over here, this rhubarb, and that was my same thought pattern when I planted the, um, I have an artichoke down there that didn't come back this year. Um, but I 
do have two beds where I planted asparagus. And the asparagus has been coming back every year. Asparagus is different in that it takes really two to three years. I bought um, two year crowns when I bought the asparagus crowns from my other beds. And then I had to wait two years before I could get a good harvest. But now it's pretty prolific. And last year, I canned up some asparagus too. So when I start my canning, I will take you along for that and show you how I can my vegetables. See, they come out really good. What else we have? Yep. Stock and muffin. So, as you can see, I've taken off leaves around the outside of this plant so that it's growing very well. I cut it and, and I'm going to come again when I get ready to harvest some more. So, I, I will have these growing back. They're not going to stay down. They will grow back and I'll have another harvest this season. So that's what we have today with the rhubarb. So I am done with my harvesting of this rhubarb. I'm going to gather up my rhubarb stalks and uh, take those in to process. And then these leaves that are on the ground, I'm just going to gather them up and put them in the trash. And they'll be gone. But it's that easy to harvest rhubarb. Think about you want to have some perennial vegetables in your garden consider planting some rhubarb it's going to take a while for the rhubarb to grow and establish itself but once it does it will feed you for years so this is Henry B723 I want you and your family to have a wonderful day if you have any questions or or comments please leave them in the comment section below I do answer the questions that I get so if you have any questions let me know this is Henry B 723 have a wonderful day see you in the next video